welcome! You're watching this rip store run down of a Liebling Hollywood home on a budget. As we touched upon last week, we are currently going through a seasonal transitionary period. From winter to spring. And yeah, spring has technically begun, but weather-wise, here in the Northeast, it doesn't feel that way. We're still enduring the cold remnants of winter. How we live, walk, and play should often be reflective of Mother Nature's periods. And yeah, like almost all mothers, especially my own, Mother Nature has not one, but two periods yearly. We call them spring and fall. Spring is the transitional period from cold to hot weather, while fall is vice versa, hot to cold again. Because we all know winter is hardcore cold, and summer is hardcore hot. You get the picture. Accordingly, we should be adjusting our regular habits and our daily routine to reflect that change, especially in how we cook and eat at home. So, we're going to be doing just that with America's Test Kitchen, like we did last week. This is their slow cooker revolution. This is actually the one slow cooker revolution cookbook that got away the first time I saw it at Unique Thrift Store in Patterson, New Jersey. I remember that like it was yesterday. When I saw this for the first time, it had all three Slow Cooker Revolution books. This, the first one, and the healthy one. Both of those I've already bought, reviewed, and will link in the description below if you want to check it out. The volume you see before you, the Easy Prep Edition, is, as the subtitle would indicate, The Middle Ground, Volume 2, which features 200 all-new groundbreaking recipes. Barbecue, stir-fry, roast, poached stew, even bake a chocolate cheesecake. And if that doesn't look spring-like to you, especially with the fresh raspberry garnish, then... Well, actually, I can think of 12 other recipes in here, one per each recipe chapter, 12 recipe chapters, that I'll be highlighting for this review. I didn't have enough to buy this and the healthy slow cook of Revolution cookbook, so I had to leave them both behind. The next time I spotted this, it was at American Thrift in Passaic, New Jersey, for under $2. Now, you know, American Thrift, when it comes to books, they can be pretty lazy with pricing because they don't have price tags. But remember, the general rule of thumb, which is a rule we can all get behind, is either $0.99 cents or a buck ninety-nine. Out of a retail price of $26.95 in this case? Yeah, I get down with that real easily. And often... It leaves you room to splurge if you want to buy a lot of books at American Thrift. And they usually come through for you. They did for me. And I'm not going to make you wait any longer like I waited to finally have this in my library. So let's get started. The 12 recipes I'm highlighting here after the preface by Christopher Kimball and a guide to getting acquainted with your slow cooker and streamlining meal prep for slow cooker uh, revolution will be reinforcing the notion I made last week of transitioning from hearty, indulgent, stick-to-your-ribs, rich comfort food to comfort food that's a little more lighter, brighter, fresher, and spring-like in appearance and flavor, beckoning spring on a plate, basically, yet still rich and indulgent in taste. So let's go. Chapter 1, Easy Appetizers. Chapter 1, Recipe-wise, Garlicky Shrimp. That takes about an hour on high, and will serve 8 to 10. This will fit in a 3.5 to 7 quart slow cooker. We also have here a quick prep tip for peeling and debating shrimp. Next up, in the short cup soups chapter, short cut soups, we have here hearty chicken and garden vegetable soup. That serves 8. That will take 3 to 4 hours on low, and fits in a 5.5 to 7 quart slow cooker. We have a quick prep tip on sweating meat. In the hearty stews, curries, and chili section, this is a hearty fisherman stew, which serves six. That takes either four to five hours on low, or three to four hours on high. That'll fit, again, in a five and a half to seven quart slow cooker. In the easy chicken dinner section, behold, braised chicken sausage with white bean ragu. What a smart shopping tip for how to look for the best chicken sausage, mild versus hot. Of course, that'll be your preference which flavor to pick. That serves for, that'll take two to three hours on low, and fits it again in a five and a half to seven quart slow cooker. Steaks, chops, ribs, and more. Here we have a spiced pork tenderloin with couscous. Serves for one to two hours on low, five and a half to seven quarts. 
And again, in the same slow cooker, we have here turkey breast with cranberry and pear sauce. Yes, it's thanksgiving esque but hey, when it's made in a slow cooker, it's hands-off, and it makes it very weeknight friendly, as they say, in the widest recipe work section. This is in the Big Wolf's and Whole Bird section, and that takes five to six hours on low serving six to eight. Pasta and pasta sauces. Penne with chicken, sun-dried tomatoes, and spinach. Definitely spring-like, even summer-esque. Two to three hours on high. Same slow cooker size. Speaking of slow cookers, uh, we'll be going over their preferred slow cookers, at least preferred at the time of this book's publication a little bit later. Still have done that in the beginning, but I just wanted you to see the recipes first because it's been a long time coming since I first saw this at Unique. In the casserole section, we have farmhouse chicken casserole. Certainly comforting, and hey, we really can't get rid of all those rich, hearty, comfort food classics that easily, right? <laughs> Anyway, that serves uh, four to six. It takes four to five hours on low. For vegetarian dinners, we have here a very bright looking individual ricotta, spinach, and a casserole. That'll take two to three hours on low, which serves four. You already know from the get go that there's a diverse output of recipes in here. Including poached salmon and cookie for two. Oh, yeah, cookie for two. That's one of my top three favorite ATK chapters when applicable. In fact, be on the lookout for this. This is the third installment in their Cooking for Two Special Issue Cookazine Cookbook Magazine Hybrid series. In the meantime, settle for this. Which is one to two hours on low will serve two, obviously. And it's a delicious offering for date night. Again, obviously. The penultimate recipe for this review in the easy side section is the easy baked potatoes, which take uh, six to seven hours on low, four to five hours on high, serves four to six. And finally, for dessert, I should have spotlighted that chocolate cheesecake, but here we have much more elegant looking, much more intimate individual chocolate fudge cakes. Serves for one to two hours on low. They highly recommend the crock pot touchscreen six and a half quart slow cooker, which cost 130 bucks, yet received perfect three-star ratings in both cooking and design criteria. And that's the big slow cooker, the large one. For small slow cookers, they recommend the Crease Not 4 Quart Programmable Slow Cooker, which cost 80 bucks. The Best Buy is a Hamilton Beach Stay or Go 4 Quart Slow Cooker, which cost nearly 30 bucks, 26.99. With either of these two small slow cookers, you really can't go on. So, let's go over our usual ATK cookbook checklist. Why this recipe works sections, summarizing their testing process, check. Photographs for the recipes, check. However, not a complete check, meaning there is no one recipe photograph for every recipe in here, but there is a very good amount of them. Do we have ingredient prep tips featured at the bottom with accompanying photographs? Check. Do we have ingredient recommendations? Check. I.e. the smart shopping enchilada sauce tip here in steaks, chops, ribs, and more for their tex mex meatloaf. A check already for the diverse output of recipes which go beyond the requisite soups, stews, and chilies that one would associate with a slow cooker or, as we reviewed last week, a Dutch oven. Which leads me to another point. This is a definite check for those who are still not ready to give up their one-pot recipes, generally because of how comforting they really do feel inside of you and their ease of use, which is an exceptional factor for one pot of recipes. Take the fast lane to great slow food. From rare roast beef with gravy, all the way to moist tender salmon, one pot pasta dinners, garlicky poached shrimp, whole roast chicken, and foolproof desserts. Four and a half out of five claps. Oh, and one more thing to check. Equipment recommendations. It's all in the name, Slow Cooker Revolution. Anything else, albeit nice to have, would be unnecessary. So there you go. No matter which slow cooker revolution book you buy and vibe with the most, 
the revolution will be nothing if not devoured. watching TSR. Now, to see another awesome review like this one, click here. If you want to become a Hollywood bargain hunter, click here to subscribe. Now, catch you on the thrift side.